Hi, this is Andrea from Club SciKids. Now that you have refreshed yourself on how to use a ruler, we're going to get started. What we're using today are some gummy bears. <clears throat> you need to start, you can just pick two gummy bears. Now when we did um, our last experiment using the scientific method that was with the apples and the oxidation, we had a set called the control. Those are the ones where we didn't do anything to, we just kept them as they were so that we had something to compare um, our new results back to. So you need two gummy bears and these are going to be our controls. So, and in this experiment, as we um, record our data, and this time we're actually going to use a ruler to record our data. So what we're going to be doing is each step of the way we're going to be measuring our gummy bears. It's how we're going to tell the difference that has happened to them. We are going to be recording all of our data on a shared Google Doc. That way you can see my results, I can see your results, and we can share. A large part of being a scientist is that not only do you record your data, but you also share your data. That way as you're doing your experiment you can see how it compares to everybody else. Here is a picture of the Google Sheet that we will be using. And each step of the way, as we measure, I will show you how um, you record your information. So we have two controls. First thing that we need to do is we need to measure. Now, like the video showed you, you want to make sure that you set it so that it's right at the zero and rulers start a little bit before zero so you need to make sure that it's lined up there and we can see this gummy bear is exactly there's a half this would be three quarters of an inch so it's not quite one inch it's three quarters of an inch so our red one is three quarters of an inch let's check our other control line him up he is also three quarters of an inch. So let's go to our sheet, to our Google Doc, and I'm gonna show you how to record that information. Now that we've recorded our information, what we need to do is we need to get two other gummy bears and I'm going to make sure that they're different colors just so that we can keep things straight. So we have a green and we have a yellow gummy bear. We can move our ruler out of the way and we have two cups. One is going to be empty and one's going to have water. What this experiment, what we're going to do, we're going to track it over an hour and we're going to see what happens when you put gummy bears into water. So let's go ahead, take our two controls. Oh, these were actually my controls. Take the two control bears and drop them in the empty cup. They're just going to sit there. That way we can always compare our results back to our controls. You're going to take your two new ones and we're going to drop them in the water. But we need to set our timer, and I'm gonna use my phone for the timer. We wanna first set it to for five minutes. We're gonna check it after five minutes, and then 10 minutes, and then so forth. So let me set it for five minutes. All right, so we have it ready. So as soon as I drop it in, I can go ahead and start push the start button. So we drop them in and press start. So when this goes off, um, we will come back and I will show you how to measure. Again, your control is going to just sit here and in five minutes, we're going to pull them out and measure them and record, and record our data. Our timer went off. So let's look at our gummy bears. Again, the control, we're just gonna leave them there. And what we're going to do um, the, we're going to say, so one thing that you do need to do as you're, um, looking at the chart, you need to decide which gummy bear is one and which gummy bear is two. So we're going to have our yellow 
B1. So we're going to pull him out and we are going to measure. So we're going to take our yellow and we are going to measure. And you can see that he is a little bit past the three quarters. Now, what we need to do is this um, ruler is an eighths. But what we can do is to get an accurate measurement, we actually need to do sixteenths. It is 13 sixteenths of an inch long. So we will record that on our chart now. Next, we need to measure gummy bear number two, our green one. Set it up the same way. He is, he is actually to seven eighths. So he is seven eighths of an inch. So our green one's a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and record that on our data sheet. Now that we've recorded our data, we need to put our gummy bears back in our cup and press the timer for five more minutes and then we will measure them again um, at the end of five minutes. My timer has gone off. Let's pull out gummy bear number one, which is yellow. We're gonna measure him. Oops. Be on the right side of the ruler, line him up. He is now seven eighths of an inch. So we will record that on our chart. And the green one, number two. He is still, he is still seven eighths. So go ahead, get your timer started. We're actually now going to do it for 10 minutes. So let's drop them in, push start, and I will see you back here in 10 minutes to measure them one more time. Our timer went off again. So we're doing the yellow one first. Flip them over, line them up. So he is, I would say he is just over the 7 eighth, so he's actually 15 sixteenths, just shy of an inch. So we will record that down in a second, 15 sixteenths for the yellow. He is, he is still at the 7 eighths. He got bigger a little bit quicker, but he's still at 7 eighths. So let us go and record our data. But first, we're going to set our timer. We're going to, again, set it for 10 more minutes. That will mean that we will check it after a total of a half hour. So check it for 10 minutes and I will see you back um, soon. Our timer has gone off, so let's take our yellow. He is still the same as last time. So we'll record that on our chart. He is now 15 sixteenths as well. 
So go ahead and put that on your chart. And this time, this time now, um, we have now done it for 30 minutes. We are now going to set the timer for 30 minutes and we're going to see what they are when we come back this last time. So go ahead and start that. Oops. And I'll see you in half an hour. It is our final time. So we're going to measure. Number one, he is now an inch. And number two, He is also an inch. Now, I encourage you, even though our chart ends there, I encourage you to go ahead and keep them in the water. Check back in two or three hours. Now, although we are keeping track, let's go back to our controls. And we want to compare. So you can clearly see how even just, it's only been in the water about an hour, it has already gotten bigger. So what I would do is go ahead and toss your controls back in your control cup and these back in your water. And again, check back in two or three hours and do one more test. Now that we have completed the experiment, it's time to talk about why and what has happened. So some of you may have thought when we first put the gummies in here, some of you may have thought that it would dissolve, but it has not dissolved. Now the connection between this and biology, it's not that it's absorbed water. It's caused by osmosis. Osmosis is the transfer of water through a thin membrane, and in this case it would be the gelatin, the water moves from a higher concentration of water to a lower concentration of water. So in this cup, the cup has more concentration of water than the gummy bears do. Inside the gummy bears there is some water, but there's also gelatin and sugar. So Due to osmosis, when the gummy bears get dropped in there, the water wants to balance it out. So the water molecules move into the gummy bears to make it equal, to make it equal between the mixture of the water and the amount of water inside the gummy bear. So if we go back and check in a couple of hours, the gummy bear will be bigger, but there will come a point when it doesn't matter how long we leave it in there, it's not going to get any bigger. That's because osmosis is finished, because there's now equal amount of water in the gummy bear as outside. So just as the water moves from a higher concentration of water to a lower concentration of water, now if it's a little bit confusing, that's okay, because it's a, actually a quite complicated um, science principle. There's a couple of videos that you can watch that make it a little bit easier. This is how this osmosis happens with our cells. It's how your cells regenerate when you take in when you drink water. Osmosis is also used in our lungs where it can absorb the water and the air but not the blood. So osmosis has lots of different um, applications within the body. It's also how um, trees also get their water. It's through osmosis. The, if you put a leaf, a leaf in water, it's not that the, the leaf is drinking the water. The water is going from the higher concentration of water to the less concentration of water and it's actually taking in the water. So go ahead, watch the videos, see if you um, understand it.
and then also go back and check your gummy bears. And if you want to, even after a couple hours, you can leave them in there longer to see what is that time period when they're just not going to take in any more water. Thank you for doing science with us today, and I will see you tomorrow.